Alabama HVAC license. Starting a career in the HVAC industry can be highly rewarding. If you want to work in this profession, you need to acquire an Alabama HVAC license. The AL Board of Heating, Air Conditioning, and Refrigeration is the regulatory body for registering technicians in this field. Prerequisites before you start preparing to study the profession, make sure you are eligible for it. You should meet some preconditions if you want to get the permit. So here is the list for it. At least 18 years old USA identification card social security number high school diploma or GED. D. You can acquire two main types of licenses, an HVAC contractor and a refrigeration contractor. Depending on the kind you choose, you will be authorized to work in that specified sphere. Training besides the preconditions, there are also more specific steps to take to qualify for the authorization. In order to become an HVAC technician, it is necessary for you to receive the appropriate schooling. When it comes to this, you have three options. You may register as an apprentice. This gives you the opportunity to practice alongside professionals for two years. You will obtain experience and will also master the job. A second option is to enroll in an approved program in an educational institution. Here is the list of possible schools you may apply to. Beville Community College Central Alabama Community College J.F. Drake Technical College Shelton Community College Here are some of the topics to be covered. Basic Electricity Gas and Electric Heating Air Conditioning and Control Principle System Design Energy Management and Green Building Design Water Volume Electrical Heating Power Resistance The fee for the classes varies from $4,000 to $10,000. The average program lasts seven months. If you choose none of the two options, you could also gain 3,000 hours of work experience under a professional. Then you are going to take an open book examination. It costs $150. There are 60 to 80 questions that you have to complete in 3 to 4 hours. You must get 70% of the answers right in order to pass. Filing an application after getting the necessary training, you can start the application process. You must submit the following, completed, signed, and notarized application form apprentice certificate or transcripts of the completed pro program reciprocity. If you already have a certification from another state, you may request reciprocity. You must have a valid permit in those jurisdictions. You need a valid certificate in Mississippi for at least one year, in Tennessee 3, South Carolina 5. As for West Virginia and Louisiana, there is no waiting period. You still ought to submit the paperwork, including all the necessary forms and fees. Renewal to be able to continue your practice, you ought to renew your certification annually by December 31st. You should take four hours of additional classes for this. The renewal costs $190.